Hey YouTube, Donald here from Music in the Making. I just wanted to make a quick video about my setup to do streaming because it took me a while to get this figured out and I want to help you guys uh, if you're trying to do the same sort of thing because it's not uh, apparent on how to do it. So um, if you've tried to do it like I did, um, you might be able to get aspects of it working, but then you run into problems trying to get the audio from your DAW to play into another uh, like screen capture thing like OBS is a very popular one and that's what I'm using so that's what my example is going to be in. Um, <clears throat> the problem that I was having was I could get my microphone to into OBS, I could record my screen, I could even record um, desktop audio for things like if I was playing in another YouTube video or something or some music that would get recorded but it wouldn't work if I was trying to play something back in my DAW so to fix that um, I found this program uh, called voice meter banana kind of a weird name but this is what it looks like and basically you can kinda you know pause the screen and see what my settings are here but I'll walk through it so um, once you install this um, you can just look up voice meter banana online and it'll show you what it is and where to download it. It's, it's free. So that's the good news. Um, basically, uh, what worked for me, I'm using an Apollo twin, um, USB, uh, like the duo one, uh, for my interface, but it theoretically should work for any interface. Um, you have a choice between WDM or MME for the universal audio. You can see there's it's essentially duplicated. They're just different types of drivers. Um, <clears throat> this one is preferable, but if you hear pops and clicks, which I did, then just switch it to the MME choice, and one or the other should work just fine from the other videos that I've watched. Uh, and then after that, um, the only thing that I'm trying to do is to record my voice and the music that is in my DAW. So that's all I really need as an actual, like, hardware input is my uh, microphone and then from there uh, basically uh, these if, if you guys know about music they it's it's kind of functioning like a mixer sort of so you've got these sends um, another thing that's not immediately apparent in this uh, is that hardware input one is um, is its own thing and basically this column here are the sends so a1 is up over here it's hardware out it's basically think of a1 as where do you want to hear this so like would it be sent to your speakers or your headphones so in a1 I have um, what worked for me was the MME speakers so theoretically if you had WDM over here you would pick it over here, but since the MME was what worked for me, um, that's my, notice it says speakers, and over here it says line. So speakers is um, would be routing the audio back to your interface to come out of your speakers. I Currently, right now, you can't see, but I'm wearing headphones that I'm monitoring through the interface, not through my computer. Um, and I have the speakers turned off because you can do that on the Apollo and still hear it through the headphones. So I'm, I've got that selected, so that's A1. In A2 and A3, nothing is checked off, because I only need on A1. Um, and then I am sending this information to B1, so you can see how I've got like a signal here from me talking is actually showing up over here, and this is labeled B1. And then over here, I've got my voice meter is set to A1, because the that... Uh, is basically this channel is basically think of it as like a virtual ASIO driver so I think that's probably what they were getting at with VAIO um, so what that does is basically in Cubase or whatever your DAW is um, in Cubase you'd go to like where you choose what your VST is what whatever DAW you're using and normally I would be using the Universal Audio Apollo Twin USB but you actually switch it to this voice meter virtual ASIO driver. And then what that does is that allows you 
um, to have that information sent to this. Uh, notice that's the same thing, voice meter virtual ASIO, voice meter virtual ASIO. That's kind of just shortened for that. Um, and then that sends it to your output, which will get to the point where your output is what's being captured in OBS. So um, that's basically all I really needed. I don't even think I'm technically using B2. So, um, and then something that was important is you're going to want to make sure that your, um, what you have set in uh, voice meter banana is the same as your project settings. Cause if you don't, it'll play back at a weird, uh, because you're using the, the voice meter as your driver in Cubase, you want to make sure that the, um, setting is the same as your project. So notice I'm doing recording in 96 K 24 bit. Um, I had problems before where this was set to the default, which was 44 one at 16. So you just got to go to menu system settings and, um, preferred main sample rate. So it was set to 44 one. I just changed it to 96 and then that allowed me to play it back and not have it sound really weird. Um, so that's just make note of that. Whatever your project is, you probably need to change that to match invoice meter so that it plays back correctly. Um, so that that covers uh, voice meter and Cubase, and then the only thing left is your sound. Um, so I am using the Apollo Twin as my default communications device, and this cable and I'm not even really certain at this point I wanted to make this video so I don't forget either I'm not uh, entirely certain if this is set having this set as the default device is actually needed um, other videos I was watching were saying that you needed to set um, the playback to to this stuff um, but you can see that I'm not using that I have the speakers as my default device and and clearly I'm making this video so it's working um, and uh yeah so that's what i've got in recording and setup is um is that the the vert this vb audio virtual cable in case you're wondering is another free download from the same people that make voice meter banana it's on the same website there's a tab for it you can find it um and i think i actually got it up here so um yeah so you can actually see voice meter banana this is a vb audio virtual cable um so anyway uh then the last thing would be what's in obs so this is going to do that weird screen thing where it goes infinity on itself but hang on um so notice down here i've got my mic aux you can see my level if i go into uh cubase and start playback on uh this song uh, and go back to OBS, you'll see that it's getting level um, in the desktop audio. That it's currently set to uh, the speaker's universal audio. And then in mic aux, I have that set to the voice meter output. Um, nothing else worked, so don't ask me why, but that's... I, I got it to work this way. So... Um, those are the two things you can see they're kind of getting individual levels so theoretically I could lower the volume of the song and bring it back up again or lower the volume or bring it back up so um, I'll move this back over so you don't have to look at that and uh, yeah so now I'm getting playback uh, of the song and my mic separately so um, yeah, uh, if you have questions, you can ask them, I can let you know what my settings are at, but, uh, it just, it took some, uh, fiddling about for a couple hours last night. And then I was like, Oh, what if I change the sample rate? Cause I thought I got close yesterday and, but the sample rate screwed me up. So I found the settings in voice meter banana to change that. So, um, anyway, this has been bugging me for a while. Um, so now I can make some other videos and have you guys actually hear the music in my DAW. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to get this video out there and, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know if you like, 
uh, this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, in the meantime, go make some music. I'll catch you guys later.